All right, so first things first. Figure, where do I put the wires? Is that the first question? Should be. If not, you're not asking the right questions. <laughs> if you look on there, see, I don't know if you could see it. Got line and load. Well, the load will be underneath the sticker. Those are always on these so you don't mess it up, okay? The line means that's the power coming in. The load is power going out. So we're going to load this in and we're going to unload it. We could unload it with electronics. We could unload it with a truck full of horse manure. So we're going to line in, load, out. We unload. So, and then, so this is considered in series. I have a, a video where I'm talking about series and parallel. This is one of the reasons why we have series for the GFIs. You can put a GFI in. It doesn't mean that everything else has to be in series. You can wire it either way, any way you want to wire it, so long as your GFI is in series and it will protect your other devices down the road, okay? So uh, let me show you how to wire this, very simple. All right, first things first. Let's say you just wired your house. Well, let's go before that. We're about to wire a house or wire our plugs or what have you. How I identify where my line is, my power coming in, I will always crimp that Romex. I'll get my uh, handy little side cuts here and crimp it just enough so it penetrates into the wire in the inside. So I know that this is my line side. So the whole house has been roughed and um, it's been drywalled and painted. It's time to get in there and put your devices in. I know where my power is, so I'll never mess up that GFI ever, okay? All right, so let's strip this out and then get it prepped to put the plug in. All right, never mind the gardeners next door. They can afford, no, uh, and gardeners, I can't, so we just have to listen to them. All right, so I've removed the sheathing, and then uh, here we have the wires. Remember I talked about the crimp? You could run your thumb down the crimp or down your wire and you could feel it with your thumb. If you couldn't feel it with the other one, you don't feel anything, you run it down here, boom, you could feel, it. you hear it kind of stop it. I do that with like the switch legs for wiring uh, lights as well. So anyways, but uh, that's how I know that's my line side. So what I usually do, wire my load side first, just to have my, my plug hanging around, you know. So we all know we just there's our ground, our green screw. Run that back out. And it's got this little uh little doohickey in there that you, you put it underneath. You don't have to wrap that screw. This thing's it's made to hold the wire. It has to go underneath this. And then you just simply just tighten it down on there. Nothing to it, as you can see, okay? Our load side, our load side is on the bottom. The, the gold terminals be your hot. Silver terminal would be your neutral, your white. So, well, maybe I should loosen these first, but same thing as the ground. Got my white one in there. My gold terminal. And there we have our the load side of it. Now we're gonna install the line side. Very simple, right? All right, so the reason why, I mean really the reason why I do the load first, because if I would have stripped out all of these at the same time, I might have got mixed up and forgot what I was doing, got distracted. Like a taco truck come by or somebody had a beer, you know. So I already have that hooked up. Now I have no doubt I know that this is my line side, because the only two wires left in there because I made it that way. So, all right, so I'm just gonna do just the way we did on the load side, the silver terminal for the uh, neutral, and then the gold terminal for the hot. And then uh, get ready to turn her on, okay? Okay, our GFI is all wired in, simple. So here's our other plugs down the line. Here's the next one. We could jump off this and wire one over here, one over there. I paralleled these wires down. I, I pigtailed them down, so that's considered wired in parallel. It's just, it, it's the best way to do it. It's the best way to wire them because 
if you just went from one plug to the next to the next, then your plug, in essence, becomes your wire nut, let's just say. And then with the load on this, there's a load from all the other plugs could be create heat on, let's say, like this plug, because it's it'll become the weakest point in the chain if you follow what I'm saying. So the best way to do it for me, you can do it any way you want, is to parallel these down. Most, a lot of inspectors would prefer it like that. People talk about, okay, maybe uh, wiring, looping the, uh, the terminals with the wires. Uh, you can do that, that's fine. Um, but these stabs, there's stabs in the back of them, those little holes, and they, they hold really good in there. I've had people say, well, yeah, you want to burn a house down. I've been doing this 35 years. I've never seen one house burnt down. These are UL listed plugs, underwriter laboratories. They sell them because they're legal and they're safe. And yes, you can put those stabs in the back. So maybe, what the heck does it? I tell you what, you, you don't want to be an electrician sometimes because you can be on an electrician's website and I signed up for one. And every one of those electricians is better than the next guy. And they will tell you how to do it, no matter how many times you did it, it is right or wrong. They will tell you how wrong it is. I'm an electrician. I've been around it so long. I had to get out of that stupid website because, my God, us electricians are the biggest blowhards you'll ever gonna come, come across. And they will correct you. They know everything. Hey, you know, I'm not just being some guy. It's an asshole. It's true. I'm one of them. So, all right, there you go. So that's all stabbed in there, ready to go. It isn't going anywhere, it's safe. And then now I'll show you how it works down the line, okay? If you watch some of my other videos, how to wire plugs, switches, what have you, uh, I talk about the six inches of free conductor that's wire from the edge of the box out here to the plug. You don't want too much of it. It's just hard to push all the wires in. So. I'm just going to show you just how I do it. So I got about six inches or, or better. I lie about six inches a lot. So anyway, but uh, I, I put like a little fold in here. I fold down, fold up like so. I don't know if you can see it. And I have my thumb on my ground. I push the ground in first. I want that one all the way in the back. I use my thumb to push all the wires in first. Then I push the receptacle in. And I line up my screw here. Get my little, uh, my little baby screw gun. And I'm safe. I'm good. I wired it in. Fast, quick, neat. Anyways, all right. So let's turn on the power and see if I mess this up. Okay, now everything's energized. First thing we do, we know it's all wired up. We reset the GFI, the reset button right on top. All right, it's reset. Let's see if I, we got power to the uh, other plugs. Yes, we do. And from our indicator on here, these other, these two lights here shows that we wired our polarity. Everything's, everything's correct, okay? Now, how do we test it to know if we're GFI protected? Well, there's a little test button right here on top of this. And it, uh, it trips it to ground. The neutral to the ground, not hot to ground. If it was hot to ground, you'd have a big arc. So let's test it. That means, so since that shut that GFI off, everything in that circuit is now de-energized. There's still power inside the GFI box. Remember, our line side comes from the panel, but this, the rest is on the load side. So it doesn't matter if I wired this in parallel, this in series, that is how you wire a GFI and how it works. I 